Okay, so after we left off, we kind of had some creepy stuff happening, but now I'm just interviewing people in these weird apartment doors. So let's see if I can get some answers from this guy. Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Let's see. Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well. They're just misguided. Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. You sound very calm. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Oh. Clean? Oh. You're immaculate. Children of the immaculate birth, yes. You've heard of us. Oh, so I guess these are people that don't have any implants. Well, I've never been called to a crime scene where one of your kind was involved. That's good enough for me. <laughs> Our kind? I see. Do you take offense to our way of life, Officer Lazarski? No, but it must be hard on the whole family. No one said life would be easy. Well, I'd have to say, no mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? All right, all right, take Some it easy, buddy. There are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable. But it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a big fan of implants. But I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe we are what we make ourselves. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but... Our church has a support group for the penitent unclean. Oh. Perhaps you'd like to attend a meeting? I don't know, that sounds like... Sounds like a hoot and a half. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, well, once you get past the name, you'll find a lot of compassion and understanding there. All right, if you say so, Mr. Karski. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski. I was like, did he even did he even answer my question? <laughs> like, I don't I don't even think I don't even think he answered it. He's just just kind of a dick bag a little bit, but I don't know. I don't even know if he answered it. Okay, well, we're probably gonna see a repeat of that scene again. Can't open. Well, okay, never mind. <gasps> hey, oh, what was that? Okay, never mind. I don't think we have to. 108. What the hell? Why is it all... Like, look at this. This little cybernetic stuff right here. 107. Alright, I'm getting close. 105. 106. Miss Nader? I'm with the KPD. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Mrs. Excuse me? Mrs. Nader. Ew, what's wrong? Right. Oh, look at look at the eye. Mrs. Nader. What's wrong with the eye? What do you want? Uh have you made any calls in the last hour? No, I have not. Could you check your compass for connections? Somebody may have used it as a proxy. I don't have a compass.
Ma'am, is everything all right in there? Are you in some kind of danger? You tell me, officer. I heard the alarms go off. Are the cleaners on their way? Are any of us safe? The lockdown seems to be a malfunction. I don't think we're looking at an outbreak here. Well, I'm sure the other tenants will be glad to hear that. Yep. But not you? No, officer. Not me. Okay. <laughs> no compass. I thought pretty much everyone had one at this point. Oh, you thought wrong. I don't have any implants of any kind. All right, calm down, jeez. Don't mind my asking, do you live alone? Yes, I do mind, and yes, I live alone. No spouse or daughter. Didn't you hear me? I said it was just me. Then why did you insist on being called Mrs.? I'm a widow. My wife died many years ago, in the plague. Sorry to hear that. Is that why you don't have any implants? Yes. Want to see the scar tissue on my face and neck? It's quite an embroidery. The little monsters really outdid themselves. Or do I have to show you what's left of my arm? Would that satisfy your curiosity? Okay, that... that Mrs. Nader... That explains the huge gaping job. hole where her oh, eyes yes, should be. Yes, I've heard that one before. When the cleaners took my Laura away, one of them turned to me and said precisely that. I never saw her again. Not even the body. It's like she never existed. Ugh. What the? <laughs> Get off your high horse. Why would I say that? <laughs> I'm not like that. No? Oh, so you don't work for the corporation? The very same people who took everything I ever had? Just because they pay me doesn't mean they own. Well, isn't that a pretty thought? You best get on with your duties, officer. I'm sure you have your hands full. So long, Mrs. Nader. Helena, no black did. Oh shoot. Okay. Uh, what? Wasn't it like 107? I think. Let me see. Uh, 104. Okay. KPD. Anyone in there? Can you repeat that? The cop what? What do you want? You notice there's been a lockdown. Lockdown? You got the fucking the fucking thing. I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> Just stay in your apartment. <laughs> okay, so I gotta get to 104 now. This is 105. What the hell? What the heck? Okay, I don't know why. Not letting me open the door. Weird. What are these pigeons doing here? And why did I just walk in front of it? Okay, 107. I, I, don't know, I, I think I saw 104 earlier. Let me see, where is it? 114, 104. Oh, okay. I think I know where it was. It was... Okay, this is 108. I think it's in the main lobby area, if I can remember how to get back there. And I think I'm almost there. Yeah, here we go. And then... See, there we go. Five. Wait, where's 104? Let me see. Hmm. That's weird. 
Hey, I can't really go in there anyway because the door, the gate's locked and that robot's struggling to get back up. Here? I don't think so. Hey, whoa, whoa. A little bit laggy. I don't know if that's the game doing that, like on purpose, or. Okay, ground floor. That's the thing, though. There's. It's really nothing, though. Yeah, see, it's all zero. So where I gotta go is up there somewhere. Great. Well, but I mean, it's not like I haven't made any progress. Where are you going? Okay. So let's see. Where to go? Yeah, look at my shadow dance. Look at him dance. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. Well, I, I guess I have to go into that green door again, because I think that's the only way I'll be able to get in. already saw me get scared once and I see the doors locked thank you mr. Robo robot all right um hmm I could have sworn I saw 104. It's gotta be around here. Yeah, see, so, okay, now it would. Like I was trying. What the? I was trying to get through the door before, and it wouldn't let me. That was a collectible. Cause then I, cause then I took it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what that was, but it's mine now. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know. What's with all these birds? Here we go. 